Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And today, I'm showing you guys my top 10 wanted dragon figures. I've had a lot of you request that I do some more top 10 videos. In particular, dragon figures and another G.I. Joe top 10 video, which I'd like to do at some point. Um, but for now, I thought it was about time that I showed you my top 10 wanted dragon figures. So um, I pulled up the Dragon website and I looked over all the figures that they have listed here and it took a long time. They have a lot of figures on here, some that I've never even seen before. Uh, so it took a really long time to narrow this down to 10 figures. Uh, you can imagine that was really hard to do. But there are 10 in particular that I really want above all the others. And if you happen to see any of these figures, please let me know. Um, if they're not outrageously expensive, I would really like to get them uh, at some point here. So, um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, it should be fun. So, let's get started. Uh, the first one at number 10 is Hanson Malnar. Okay, there is the title for him. Balkans campaign 1944 there's a close-up of the figure uh, I think this guy looks really unique I've seen him pop up on eBay before and uh, he looks really unique I love his uniform and I love the hat he's got on really really cool just looks like a very realistic figure um, so he is at number 10 really cool figure Okay, so coming in at number 9 is a British figure. This is British Airborne uh, Piat Gunner, Private Charles Redding. And this is a very rare figure. Uh, I recently saw him on eBay, but he was going for like 100 bucks, So really expensive and very hard to find. But this guy looks really cool. Comes with a ton of gear. And the uniform looks fantastic. Alright, so that's number nine. Number eight. Okay, we have a Russian figure. This is Alexei uh, Petrovich Kamarov. I hope I said that right. Um, but this is one I've been after for a long time. Very rare and very expensive. Um, just a super realistic figure. I think he looks great. That uniform just looks really good. This is the only picture they have of him on the website. But in particular, that leather jacket he's got on, uh, that looks really cool. So this is a figure I definitely want to get. Alright, so next up, number 7, is a German figure. This one is Heinrich Zim. And once again, this is a very hard to find figure and very expensive. In fact, I think all of the figures on my top 10 list here are very rare. Um, but that that's one of the reasons why I want them so badly. I'm very attracted to uh, hard to find figures. And this one is... A beautiful figure. I don't think I've ever seen this one pop up before. Um, here's another close-up shot of him. Really a beautiful German figure. Okay, number six. Got an American figure. This is Matt Barkley. And this is one um, I've also never seen pop up before. In fact, I just saw this one on uh, the Dragon website recently. I didn't even know this one existed. Uh, he is really cool looking. I love his uniform. Just the way that looks. And the equipment looks really cool as well. Um, really, another beautiful figure here. Alright, so that's number six. And next up, 
Number five. All right, we got another British figure. This is Terry Wolcott. Um, a great figure here, guys. Very beautiful. I love British figures, and this one is a must-have for me one day. I have seen him listed on eBay just once, and I think he was going. <laughs> I think the final bid was like maybe two hundred dollars. Um, very expensive and super rare. I think this was like a special. Yeah, it says right here this is a special, uh, super rare figure. Um, yeah, really a beautiful figure. I really like the bray on there. Looks great, and the gun also. Very nice. Alright guys, coming in at number 4, coming down to the last ones here, uh, we have another German figure, this is Arthur Hecht, or Hecht, I don't know how to say that, <laughs> uh, but this is a beautiful figure, and once again, I, I never see this one pop up anywhere, and that just shows you how rare this one is, and I'm sure he goes for really high prices, uh, but this guy is amazing, his uniform, super cool, and uh, Take a look at that mask he's got on. I mean, that is so cool. Here's a better look at it down here. Really, really cool. Um, I doubt I'll be anytime soon when I get this figure. Like I said, I've never seen him before, so. But hopefully one day I'll get him. All right, we're moving into the top three now. And in third place, I have a U.S. soldier. And this is Garrett White. I've seen this guy a few times on eBay. Uh, generally, he's like a hundred bucks. So once again, very expensive. Uh, but this guy is really, really nice, and he looks very realistic. I mean, really cool bar rifle, beautiful uniform, and it looks like he comes with a display stand. I don't know how you would fit that in the box, but uh, that's really cool if that is included. I think that looks amazing. All right, in second place, we have another German figure, and this guy is amazing. Uh, this is Heinz Schmidt, and let's just take a look at this figure. Uh, I think this guy looks really cool. Definitely a must-have. Once again, I have never seen him on eBay before, so I doubt I'll get him anytime soon, but... Uh, I mean, wow, what a cool figure this is. I just love that coat he's got on. And the helmet there. Looks fantastic. Alright, guys. So, my number one pick. And this was pretty hard to do. Um, but my number one pick is a British figure. You know I love British figures. So I narrowed it down to Oscar McKinnon, and I just think this guy is so cool. I've wanted this one for a long time now, and I have seen him pop up before, but he's uh, also very expensive, and I tried to bid on him, but I lost the bidding war. Uh, this guy looks really good. Love the beret, the Tommy gun, the uniform. Uh, just a fantastic figure really really cool so hopefully I can get this guy at some point alright guys well that's the end of the video hope you enjoyed my top 10 picks for uh, my wanted dragon figures and uh, like I said let me know if you come across any of these figures and please let me know I really want to get these guys um, I know they're really expensive but Hopefully I can get some good deals. I don't know. It's very hard with Dragon figures. They can be very pricey, especially with these guys, because they're so rare. Uh, but that, to me, what that's what makes them so attractive. Is I really like the rare figures. I like tracking these ones down. It takes a long time, but it's very rewarding when you finally get them. Alright guys, well thanks so much for watching. And uh, I'll try to do a new video soon. So stay tuned. I'll see you.